It's time for the Big Top Parade and Circus Celebration in Baraboo coming up. And here to tell us a little bit more about it, we have Nancy Keflish and also Carrie Olson. Good morning to both of you. Good, Good morning. morning. Now, Carrie, let's start with you. Baraboo has such a rich history with a circus. Can you give us a few of those highlights? Baraboo is unique in that it's the home of the Ringling Brothers Circus. That's where the Ringling Brothers began their gigantic circus operation. But there were also other circuses that came from Baraboo, including one that was created by cousins of the Ringlings, and oh. their last name was Golmar. This year would mark the 125th anniversary of the Golmar Brothers Circus's founding. And so you will be specifically celebrating that association. Exactly. This year we're honoring the history of the Golmar Brothers Circus and the tremendous contributions the, the Golmar family made to American circus history by asking our friends, the Golmar family mm -hmm. of Baraboo, to be able to be in the parade and they're going to serve as our Grand Marshals. Oh, wonderful. Now, Nancy, tell us a little bit about what people will see in the parade. I think we have about 75 to 80 units. There's 14 circus wagons that'll be pulled by horse teams, um, some by antique tractors. Um, lots of marching bands, high school marching bands. Um, the Bucky Badger is going to be there and some members of the UW band. Um, lots of community floats, businesses put in floats. We have Boy Scouts marching. Um, a great veterans presence actually leads off our parade, and we're really proud of that. And it's judged this year, too. It is judged. We've always judged it in the past, but mm -hmm. this year we added celebrity judges. So we have invited three judges, um, Ted Perry, who is a Baraboo graduate and an anchor in Milwaukee, Tom Farley, and um, Stephanie Klett. Oh, wonderful. So they'll be um, in the beginning of the parade, they'll per they'll go the route and then get off at their judging station. All right, and you also have a number of events going on because you need to get there early to stake out your seat and then you have all kinds of entertainment going on. You do, on. there's lots of viewing areas, so don't worry about not being able to find a spot. Um, but stuff starts at 9 a.m. downtown. We have food vendors, uh, we have bouncy houses, things for kids. Mm -hmm. Um, Wild Rumpus Circus will be there doing a show at 10, Psychropia at 11, and both of them will do interactive um, activities with kids as well. And then after the parade wraps up, Carrie, there's another celebration going on back at Circus World Museum. That's right. Circus World, they're our partners in mm -hmm. this event. We couldn't do this without Circus World and as Nancy said, the 14 circus wagons that come from there. So we are encouraging our audience after they leave the Big Top Parade to head to Circus World because at 4 o'clock there will be a special Big Top Circus performance there and all tickets will be $5. Wonderful. And of course the parade is free yes to attend and it's bring your own chair it is there's actually we, I want to mention too that there are shuttles you can park at lots okay. of Circus World um, and Pierce's and there will be buses bringing you in if you're worried about parking and there's bleachers and plenty of places to sit and that might be easier to get out when you're all done Definitely. too is to yes. take the shuttle bus yeah. all right well it's all going on in Baraboo and uh, we have the specifics it is coming up next weekend on Saturday July 23rd the parade actually starts at 2 but as Nancy said you want to get there early to downtown Baraboo thanks so much thank you very much thank you